Probably if you're talking to people about weather so far 2020, they would say wet and rather drab, wouldn't they? But look at this. I'm very jealous this morning. Uh, this was in the far north in Perth and Kinross. Yes, we had a dusting of snow. In several places, we had several centimetres as well. So it was a bit of a winter wonderland here. The snow showers arrived through the night in actual fact. They cleared off quite early and then a cluster of showers being driven on by a brisk west wind is the feature for the rest of the day. But turning mostly to rain, maybe some hail mixed in there. Now, sheltered eastern areas, what a contrast. A glorious morning so far in North Yorkshire, in Filey. Lots of blue sky, lots of sunshine. And with that westerly wind, most of the showers will always be this afternoon along the west-facing coast. So sheltered eastern areas of Scotland and England, you could escape the worst of it. It's going to be a blustery afternoon, sunny spells and feeling cooler, particularly when you factor in the strength of the wind. And that wind will continue to drive those showers in from the west overnight tonight. So as the temperatures fall away, there's a greater chance again of seeing more snow, particularly to higher ground of Scotland and northern England for a time. And those temperatures are likely to fall away as well. It's going to be a chilly start to Wednesday morning. Low single figures widely, just below in rural spots. So almost anywhere is at risk if you catch those showers through the night of starting Wednesday off with some icy stretches. So tune into the BBC local radio stations for any travel updates updates first thing. But generally we're under this influence of ridge of high pressure to start with. However, this weather front is going to move in through the second half of Wednesday. So we start off Wednesday relatively quiet, chilly, still breezy, but there will be some showers from the word go before then rain, more significant rain starts to push in to the far northwest. Now, there's still a level of uncertainty just how far south or north this is going to be sitting. And that could have an impact on Northern Ireland and northwest England. But it will bring some rain, some of it heavy, around an inch or so during daylight hours with gusts of winds in excess of 40 miles an hour. So not a pleasant way to end your Wednesday afternoon. England and Wales dry with some sunny spells and temperatures peaking at around 10 degrees degrees but all change again on Thursday. Mild air starts to flood in from the southwest. The yellow tones right across the UK as we go into Thursday. And that is going to be the story Thursday into Friday. Unfortunately, it means there could be a lot of low cloud mist and murk as well. Rain easing away from Scotland. But in terms of the feel of things, well, we're widely into double digits across the country with temperatures peaking perhaps at 12 or 13 degrees. Jane. Mm, thank you very much.